from this report, you will now know that Buari is not just concerned about himself, he is also concerned about the well-being of both the young and the old. He is concerned about anything that happens to anybody in the country. And that is why he made it known that uh, the IPOP, the Biafrans, should wait and still stay with Nigeria, not separating from Nigeria. Let's hear him on uh, what he said. The Grand Commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, DCFR, President Muhammad Dubuari, has today made a statement concerning the activities of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOF. In a recent interview, he had, according to further reports, obtained the President has today disclosed how the youth of the South South and Southeast region have reassured him that there would be nothing like secession of both regions. Guys, what can you say to this? This is coming from the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria saying that uh, the South South and the South East Youth region has reassured him that there will be nothing like secession of both regions. Wow. Is it true? Can we believe what Buhari has said? Is Buhari trying to tease at Nigerians? Is he trying to pacify them? Or is he trying to make this statement so that uh, nobody will have the mind of leaving the country again? So, the Southeast and the South South actually are reassured him that there will be nothing like secession. Even if there will be not something like secession, what's, what's bad? There's nothing bad in that. Or does he have another motive? Or he has another plan? Why is it so difficult for him to just allow these people go? Buhari, is there something you are not telling anybody? Is there something you have uh, in, the, in your inside? Is there something you are hiding from everybody that you do not want anybody to know and you are trying to deny these people of their freedom, deny the, these people of what uh, is rightly uh, theirs? They have tried, they have campaigned, and they have been on this issue not even uh, recently. What else can they do? They have fought for it. They have protested. They have marched. What else are they going to do that they have not done? And who confess to worry that there is no, they are, who reassured him that there won't be secession in South South and South East? Well, if this statement from Buari happens to be true, then that means they are betrayers. The you that actually went there are betrayers because on a normal day, the people of the South, 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 East will not make this statement. They will not concur to this because all they want, all they clamor for, all they, act, uh, they agitate for is their freedom from Nigeria. And uh, look at Urudua also, are also trying their best. They are also making effort to just to leave the country, just to leave the country, Nigeria. But with these statements now, would you have blamed Buhari for not allowing them to go? If this is true, then that means there is betrayal. Among the South South and the South East youth. Speaking for the President Muhammad Buhari described the secessionist group as a dot in a circle. Wow. A dot in a circle. Does that mean 
they are so few in numbers they are so few and for that reason because of their fewer in because of their little uh, uh how little they are they cannot you know achieve what they want why stating that even if they succeed from nigeria that they will have no place to go he also assured it that the government will talk to groups threatening to unite the unity of the country in a language they will understand as he restated his confidence in what the youth of the region had told him he earlier that the region will not succeed from Nigeria. Well, he also assured that the government will talk to the group threatening the unity of the country in a language they will understand. I think this is the best approach to everything that is going on. Talk to them. Let's know what their agitation is all about. Let's know what their cries are all about. Let's know what their plea is all about. Let's know what they actually want. And that is how you can know their mind. That is how, even if you want to calm them, you can calm them. And even if you cannot calm them, you allow them go. That is the best approach. Look at what Sheikh Kumi said that Buhari should invite them talk to them dialogue with them let's know what they have in mind let's know what their feelings are you don't just abandon them and you know send soldiers and army police to them to disturb or disrupt their activities every day no it does not work that way it does not work that way and that is not how we are going to uh, you know succeed as a country he said that they will have no place to go. Well, the people that are clamoring, they, sh uh, they will surely have. They will surely have a place to go. Because if not, they can't be this serious. They can't be clamoring for where they want to go. They have their plans. They should have drawn their plans. Know that, know where they are going know what they want to do when they get there and know how you know to move forward it does not matter you sh the president shouldn't be concerned about where they are going what they will do what they will eat and what have you and let him just stand there and let them go they know how to succeed they know how to move forward they should know what to do next and not the president considering them well maybe it's out of his love for them though that is why he's considering that uh, they do not have a place to go and that the region the youth in south south and the southeast actually came to him to tell him that uh, there won't be anything like secession okay let's see no is buhari saying the truth is it possible for the president to tell these lies or to lie against that southeast and the south south youth let's still know what your takes are on this new story don't forget to subscribe to tarish tv by for now